Hey guys, welcome to another day in my life. So, I'm actually right here at school. I have to pick up my head teacher and we have to go to a meeting. And then after that, it's going to be other things going on. But I have so many people who ask me the question, how did I get started with YGL Consulting Co., which is my third company. And I wanted to go ahead and just talk to you a little bit about how to go about getting your first clients, um, how to really work on your proposals if you haven't, I mean, if you're not used to making proposals. And also how to go about pitching your services because definitely people are going to have a thousand questions. So let's talk about that shortly in a little bit, okay? So let me go ahead and talk to you a little bit here in the car. I feel like the car conversation is going to be my thing because everywhere else is just too noisy, <laughs> super noisy. So I just finished at the bank. I'm still waiting for the head teacher. We're supposed to meet somebody there and also pay um, send pays. So the head teacher is the person who is now doing it. There used to be somebody who was assisting me, but this year is going to be him doing it. Okay. Anything that has to do with taxis, I have an admin for it and I have him. They're going to be the one overseeing those things because guys i don't want to hire somebody else <laughs> just for them to you know get the money for free it's a long story but we're going to get into it another day so today i really want to talk about how do you go about getting your first clients i'm just turning off the ac so this is how i got started with yjl consulting co first of all yjl is just my initial so i have yjl wedding which is my bridal company and i have yjl consulting co which is my management company okay so this is how everything started so when i first started investing in cameroon I mean, if you guys invest in Africa, then you know all the hurdles and the challenges that you can encounter. So I was just one of those people that I wanted somebody to take care of my businesses. I wanted somebody to manage the operations. And I have family members that let me down. I have friends that let me down. Um, and I had people that I hired that also let me down. That was even stealing from me. I mean, people were stealing from me. So this company was launched just because I acknowledged some of the issues that I had as an entrepreneur. And I figured why not just have a company that was gonna assist the diaspora when they wanna invest in Cameroon. So that's really how the whole idea of the company started. So as soon as I had the idea going, I remember friends of mine people that i didn't even know were just like when are you going to relocate back to cameroon because everybody who knew me knew that the goal for me was to relocate back to cameroon tip number one is to really talk about your business ideas i know many people are reluctant to talk about what they want to do but i was somebody who talked about what i wanted to do my aspirations and it got me into meeting people who wanted to invest back home so as soon as i was preparing my move my relocation back home I already had people calling my phone to be like, okay, are you already in Cameroon? Because we need you for A, B, C, G. So that was basically how the whole thing started. So I moved to Cameroon 20, September 2020. And by October, I already had my first client. He had a farm and he wanted to go into partnership with like companies that process meat. So that was my first client. And I was just like, okay, let me, I mean, I wasn't even ready because I just moved back to Cameroon and I was so overwhelmed with the school that at some point I was like, okay, let me see if I can hire somebody who can oversee at least that side of the business. Keep in mind that YGI Consulting Co. was not officially really open, like it wasn't officially launched in terms of paperwork. So everything just started like that, just because I was talking about what I wanted to do and that's how people started contacting me. So I would say tip number one, make sure you share your ideas to potential potential clients those are going to be people that you know are investing here in Cameroon or are planning to invest here in Cameroon so the second thing that I would tell you if you want to acquire your customers is to really show people what you're already doing on the ground I think if I was just somebody who talked without actually having my own business people were not going to be taking me seriously and I know many of you are going to ask me what if I don't have a business how are people going to take me seriously so this is what I'm going to tell you you don't have to have a business like me but as long as you understand the culture of Cameroon you understand the people you understand the business world how can people maneuver with their business operations then most likely when you're talking interacting with potential clients they're gonna be like okay I can trust this person because she had told 
he or she had told me ABCG about the sector that I want to invest in. So I would say be curious be somebody who always cultivate their minds be somebody who go about learning how other sectors of business are working because clients are going potential clients are going to be reaching out to you and they're going to be asking you a thousand questions just to assess if you actually have the skill set to help them out so i would say that's what i did just talking about what i've already done on the ground how i work with so clients another important thing that you should also know is that your first clients are going to be referrals. So my first clients were referrals. So my best friend referred me to her brother-in-law. Basically, that's what happened. And then from there, you know, other people referred me to the cousin, to their brothers, to their friends and so forth. So once you have a good reputation and you're somebody of integrity, you're going to have a lot of people inquiring for your services. How to love you like me Must be a good reason that you're gone Every now and then I'm now heading to to the restaurant with my potential client um, I got to know him a little bit more and the conversation was really amazing I wasn't able to vlog when I was in his office I have to ask for permission if I'm going to be vlogging um, about people's businesses to come show up at your door I'm just too afraid that I'll be wrong Don't wanna know if you're looking into her eyes If she's holding on to you so tight The way I did before I So guys, um, I'm still out and about So I just finished my meeting with my potential client I think this is going to be a client client <laughs> so the conversation was really good we had some lunch together and yeah it was really insightful it's, I'm really amazed to know how people relocated back to Cameroon and build a successful enterprise so that was basically it I'm not going to be looking at you because I'm driving <laughs> and it's getting dark it's actually darker now so I'm heading to my other appointment I have a meeting with a with an accounting firm I want to say financial consulting firm so I just met one of the partner a couple of days ago and we you know we all agreed that we're gonna to meet today so even though it's late we're still gonna to meet today because my schedule is booked for the rest of the week so I don't think I'm gonna have time at this point but we're gonna talk about some logistic how we can partner or work together so I'm excited for that opportunity okay now the lighting is really off as long as you guys can hear me that's that's all that matters so I'm gonna keep you guys up to date I know I started a conversation today about how to get your first clients and how to really go about you know building a brand for your business so people drive crazy here so the next tip that I'm gonna give you is that you do have to go out there and really seek for those clients I don't care if you are called the CEO just like me it doesn't matter you still have to go out there look for clients I think 80% of my job is to really look for clients and work on developing a strategy that can you know increase my clientele and that is in every business not just my consulting firm but also my boutique also the school I have to be the one you know strategizing how are we gonna get more clients it doesn't matter if you hire people for that you still have to be thinking day in day out how you can multiply um, the number of clients that you have because the more clients that you have the more money you can possibly make so that's really one of the tips that I would give you is to really be out there and don't be scared of pitching your services your products to anyone that wants to hear it or don't want to hear it because that's how you're gonna go about meeting new people another tip we also be to go for events you know professional events where you're gonna be able to meet CEOs you're gonna be able to meet um, leaders of companies and you can get to talk to them and really find out what they do and that's how you're gonna be I mean making relationship because that's really how I've been making 
those relationships. I've been building those relationships. Guys, I'm actually in my next location. There's so much noise because I'm by the road. I have a meeting here with uh, some business guys. <laughs> and. Man, do you want to monitor the suit? I don't demand uh, on the mango chips. Why is it's a it's a lava? Okay. So basically this is gonna be where we're meeting, somewhere upstairs. This place is by the airport. So there's a lot of noise, but I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get inside. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to talk inside. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Must be a good reason that you're gone. Every now and then I think you might want me to come show up at your door I'm just too afraid that I'll be wrong Don't wanna know if you're looking into her eyes If she's holding on to you so tight The way I did before I overdosed, should've known your love was a game Now I can't get you out of my brain Oh, it's such a shame We don't talk So guys, <laughs> finally home, finally home. Oh my God, let me just take off my shoes. Oh, okay, thank God that I wore some type of open toe shoes. Cause if it was closed toe, I mean, not really open toe. Let me, let me show you. So this is the shoe that I wore. Um, anyway, so let me wrap up here, this video. And let me just briefly wrap up everything that I was talking about originally. So, I think I touch base on everything. If you guys have questions on how to get started, how to build relationship with potential clients, with um, business owners that you can partner with, then just ask me any question you have. I do believe that I'm really good at building trustworthy relationship. You do have to be an honest person at heart and you have to be leading with your heart, right? So. If Don't forget to subscribe as usual. If you haven't, I don't know what you're doing on here. I mean, I'm just joking. Please subscribe. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.